for no reason, I've decided that I'm going to try to switch to Manjaro in the hardest way that I can imagine. By switch, I mean not really switch. I mean, like, use Manjaro and my favorite operating system at the same time. So I'm going to build a Chew Root of Manjaro. Try to use its tools, learn its ways of doing things, and even install, like, OBS and all the shit I need inside of Manjaro and use that. We want the smallest one. What's the smallest one? XFCE is fine. We're going to go with the XFCE official branch. Minimal. For sure the minimal one. Oh, that's great. All right, let's take a look at this file and see if we can't find a root file system inside of it. That's it? That's what we got? Well, this looks promising. Oh, what we have here? Ooh, what do we have here? What are these? It's got to be this shit. How big is this directory? We need to know what the fucking SFS file is. too. That's not how do I open it. How do I extract one shower later? What did that just do? Oh, bitch. We just got some shit. What are we getting here? Nothing. So we're going to have to do that for all of those squashes, I think. So cd dot dot. cd x86. Go back to the squash command. That squash command worked really well. Slash, which we got? We got root fs. We've got. I don't know what that is. Okay. Do that too. And we'll do the desktop. SFS. Okay, so theoretically, theoretically we just built the live install environment inside of downloads temp. Yeah, let's see if we did. I guess sudo su uh, chew root temp. At Etsy star REL star. Oh, bitchin'. Well, I'll tell you what, it didn't not work. It seemed to have worked. Did that make sense? No, it worked. It did work. We have um, a chew root of Manjaro here. For I 
Oh, you know what we need. It's right here. Thank you, past me, for all your help. First things first, MV temp to Manjaro. MV Manjaro. CD Manjaro. MKDIR two roots. Manjaro. Two roots. CD two roots. Okay, we got a Manjaro. That's pretty okay. Four I in dev dev PTS dev SHM doc sys temp. I know the script's not beautiful, but it certainly functions. Mount minus minus R bind slash dollar sign I slash dot slash manjaro dollar sign dollar sign I done. What the f just happened? Yeah, manjaro now has things in it. Let's chew root into this now and see what the frick happens. Um, X host plus. We need to run that as a regular user. Terminal, open terminal. Host plus. Thank you. Now we just need to chew, chew root. You tick ls cat etsy star yell star good cd there's nobody in home Um, an empty one, I think. That was a bad idea. I meant a full one. <laughs> Here it is. Um, let's add a launcher. Okay, that didn't work at all. At this, hey, that's the one. Remove, remove. Hey, it's kind of fun. <laughs> Workspace switcher. Okay, terminal. Okay. Make sure we're not like hallucinating cat at star at star. Who needs an installer? Yeah, that's pretty swifty. But I need another like Manjaro user. What's the live user in Manjaro? Um, I can't believe we're running Manjaro right here. Oh shit! It even has like the rat background. No hybrid operating system we're running. Hybrid. Oh. Let's make a user David with the user ID of whatever my user ID is. And let's mount my home folder inside the Manjaro. Oh shit. Inside the Manjaro home folder. So to do that, we just need to look at my password file. Okay, so 
this is the line for my user. Fortunately, it's ID 1000. Um, or is it 100? I think it's 1000. Anyway, it should be the default. I'm hoping it's going to be the default on Manjaro as well. VI Etsy pass up D. Um, can we just go ahead and pop that in there? All right, quit. SU David. Okay, cool. It's trying to change directories, I think, but pass WD David. Great. So I don't know if that's that actually works. Okay, let's go ahead and mount. So mount dash dash r find slash home slash home David two roots and jaro home. Okay, um, then we can just from here as you David tick CD LS. Okay, we're now a proper user. Um, let's go ahead and exit though. Where's the source bitch? Are you the one running everything? Go away. Okay, as you David tick. Um, XFCE for subtract panel. We use the default one. Oh, wow. Aha, now I can move this one around. Awesome. Sweet. So now we're running as a proper user. Let's add this one. Yeah, that's just way better. Remove this. Remove, remove. Move about. Okay. Now we're talking. Um, this we can remove, remove. Remove, remove. All right, now we're running pretty okay. We've got like border effects, some nice compositing going on. Um, my Mate is still functioning. That's still working pretty good. Terminal. And here, it, my default directory is root. It's pretty weird. I'm going to fix that via the hackiest way I can think of. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a horrible fix. Is it? Now if we go to file browser. So unfortunately it thinks it's home directory's root. So no, it's not a good fix. Um, I would say the biggest problem is half the icons are missing. I don't really know where the icons are located, but my guess is it's some permissions issue. A simple chone or chmod would fix it. There's going to be like a rebuild. So my Pac-Man repos are totally totally screwed up. Um, it's reading everything wrong. Your two root is malformed and has no slash mount point. Oh, I understand. I think. Mount dash dash r r find slash slash I did that off camera so mount rbind slash slash is my idea based on this input let's try it again yes thank you bro so yeah it wants you to rbind root to root 
So now that that's complete, we should be able to install git with pac, no, pacman dash capital S git. Proceed with installation. That's what I'm talking about. Um, what do we want to install next? Dash capital S OBS. Is it dash broadcasting? They had a direction. Dash studio git? No, it's probably just dash studio. Dash studio. Oh. Okay. Very good. If this works, you get some you get some points. You get some points, bro. I don't buy it. That was it. OBS. Failed to initialize video, your GPU may not be supported or your graphics driver may need to be updated. Okay, um, let me think about that. We need to install GLX gears. Okay. Yeah, well, definitely didn't work. So, Getting 3D acceleration inside of Chew Root might be a bitch. Well, I'm gonna just wing it and try to install 3D acceleration shit inside Chew Root. Why not? Um, and Jaro Nvidia. Let's see how well you do. See how well you can do. Install NVIDIA drivers. Just run this, I guess. Um, we want the root one. Wow, that's going to do everything for me. Well, I mean, it's going to try. Okay, well, it's successfully installed, so... Um, what's the equivalent of rebooting a chew root? Nothing? I don't know. Um, I guess let's just exit re chew root it. Oh, that's weird, Dave. Let's not open it via that method. Let's open it via this method. Uh, no, chew root. Chew root. All right, su to me, and then s su to David, and then geo x gears export display gets colon zero geo x gears. Hey, this got further. Failed to request some things. Some shit didn't work. Shit. Alright, system D true. Let's try it out. Um system D minus NS spawn dash B dash capital D till the slash my uh, dot slash actually. Oh my. Dev is pre mounted and pre populated. Alright, it really wants to emulate dev and run, so I'm not going to mount in dev and run. Which sucks because a reboot's almost definitely required to unmount dev and run from this chew root. Yep, it's gonna be a reboot and maybe even a def different episode. Um. Manjaro Hybrid Operating System. Thanks for watching. Bye.